Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Dixie Bell's paint page. My name is Dew Dodson with uh, Dew Dodson Designs. And I am Tammy with Rustic Orchard Home. And we are tonight your farmhouse glam, glam girls. girls. Nailed it. <laughs> We've been practicing that intro. Can you believe that? Welcome guys. If you're just catching this on the replay, uh, welcome. If you're not here and, and you're here live with us, we're happy that you join. Tonight we want to kind of go over some stuff that we've been doing. Um, the farmhouse, Tammy, you think is, is still really, really popular? It really is. It really and is. It's not going anywhere. I don't think it's going anywhere, but the trends that I'm seeing, are you seeing like a pop of color? Uh -huh. And it's kind of evolving. Right. It, it's not so muted palettes. It's it's adding a little bit of color, a little bit of a little bling, <laughs> a little glam, a little glitter, a little gold. And baby, how about a lot of gold, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey Terry, thanks for joining. Hey Dixie Bell, glad you're on. Good to see everybody. Yeah, and tonight we're going to be, of course, we always give away a prize at the end of our live, and we actually have this cool. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. We have this cool little spinner, and I'm going to let Vanna, my assistant, spin it at the end of the day, or at the end of the live, right? And we're going to come up with a prize, and there's all kinds of cool prizes on here. You can get anywhere from paint, to slick stick, to wax, to the, and there's also one on here uh, that's jackpot, which means you get everything we're using tonight. Uh, for real? Which is a lot, guys. Can I it's play? a lot. <laughs> So in order to get this, to actually to get a chance to spin on the wheel at the end of the live, you need to share this video with your friends, your neighbors, with your mom, your dad, uh, anybody, anybody you can think of that may want to love to paint. And then you need to comment that you shared it. And we would love to know what you would paint with your Dixie Bell paint. Because Dixie Bell paint, you pretty much paint anything with it. And that's home decor, home decor, furniture, furniture and signs. Yes, yes, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. Fine art. Yes, Lisa says jackpot score. Yes. Yeah, I would love the jackpot, right? Heck hey, yeah. Tracy. Okay, so I think we're gonna get started tonight, and I'm gonna start with my piece. And I'm a decorative furniture painter. Um, I have a tiny little wash stand right here. Let me pull the camera down so you can kind of see what I've got here. Let me pull this down. I have this little wash stand here, and I've already started, uh, I've already painted half of it, and max, mostly all of it, but I'm, because of time, and there's not a whole lot of time left in a live, I'm gonna tell you the products that I used on it, and then I'm gonna show you a technique that I call shading, which you can do with a dark wax or colored wax to kind of add a little bit of depth, and maybe a little character to your piece. I want this to kind of be farmhouse, but I want it to look like it's actually been kind of used. So, I started, this actually was a, pink piece of furniture believe it or not hold on got let me it. adjust this yeah i got it <laughs> this was actually a pink piece of furniture and the reason it was pink is because it's been painted before and i want you guys to know this just because it's been painted before doesn't mean you can't paint over it there's a whole lot of furniture out there in that ocean world of painted furniture, right? And so many of it now is passed up or painted and people get tired of it and then they sell it. You can buy it dirt cheap. And that's what I've been doing recently is getting these pieces dirt cheap and then painting over them. Okay, so the piece was pink. Hi Pam, thanks for joining. And y'all please share for a chance to win Dixie Bell products too. And let me know that you shared in the, in the comments. What I did first to prep this, of course, I washed it down with White Lightning, which is a powder, uh, excuse me, it's a crystal product from Dixie Bell, and I mix it with water. I actually put it in a spray bottle, and I spray it over the piece, and then I wipe it off, let it dry, and then I go back with a damp cloth, and I wipe it clean again. That removed any of the gunk, um, any of the... Uh, just oils or anything from because it was a piece of furniture that was already used which means it really needed to be cleaned before it was painted so I did that first then I because it was painted pink and you know um, reds and any kind of bright colors like that if you're painting over it with a cream color it really needs like a stain blocker and because it was pink I thought it really needed that so I used a product from Dixie Bell white lightning is great for this Yes, white lightning is, is the best. But what I did was I painted over this pink with Dixie Bell Boss. And I always say, that color's not the boss of me because the boss can take care of it. So I painted over one coat with the boss and it covered the pink beautifully. And I let it dry and it's ready to paint. After the boss, 
I've decided because it is a farmhouse style, and I'm in my office by the way, this is my studio office, and it is farmhouse, um, I wanted kind of a neutral palette, um, so I picked a really pretty color, and this is called Buttercream. I don't know if you can see this color, but it's a beautiful, it's not white, and it's not like fluff or cotton. There's a couple of different whites in the line in Dixie Belle, but this is called a Buttercream, and it's just a creamy, old-fashioned look, and that's exactly what I wanted it. Um, are you seeing any comments, Tammy? Um, Tammy's trying to read some comments too. So if you have any questions about the things that are going on, just put them in. Boss blocks odor and stops stains. Yes, it does. That's awesome. It is good stuff. Yeah, so if you get a smoky piece of furniture and you want to uh, get rid of that smell instead of trying all those tricks that you've heard about putting them in the sun and Febreze and all that stuff, because it don't work. It just don't work. Use Voss, cover it up painted inside and out the smoke is gone guaranteed it's gone yeah so I painted one coat of the buttercream over the whole surface of this okay then it's ready for some shading because it's just a plain color and I really didn't want just a plain color I want a little bit of shading so I'm going to show you how I did this if you can see on this piece it's a little darker here than it is down here okay that is done by a wax and I'm going to show you how easy that is to do. Let me take this out. Will you hold that down for me Tammy? I'm sure will. Tammy's going to point this wow. down and I'm going to show you. Can y'all see okay? That. Give me some hearts or throw some love. Yeah. Let us know if you can see that. Yay! Okay. Okay. This is what I like to use. I like to use, this is a black wax. Dixie Belle also comes in brown. It comes in a beautiful brown wax, a white wax, a clear wax, and a black wax. And guess what guys, you can mix these waxes together. If this is not, if this, your brown is not brown enough, mix a little bit of black with the brown and come up with even a darker brown. It's so, it's, it's so easy to work with. So what I do is I take a little chip brush because I don't want a lot of wax and I just barely, I mean barely touch it because Wax goes a long ways, okay? All right. Thanks for the shares, guys. Every time you share, you're entered to win. Thank you. And y'all don't mind my Christmas plate because this is leftover and that's what I use. <laughs> but I take my plate and I like mix it in the brush. I don't want a whole lot of wax on it. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna shadow around the edges of this piece hard to do that. Can you see that? Yeah. Let's turn it sideways. It? Let's turn it side. Here. So it's not Let's turn it this way because that's the way it's going to go on. I'll be here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to shadow here because I'm going to make this look like it actually has been touched. And I'm just kind of going around the edges. And what I do is I put it on with this brush, but then I smooth it out with a bigger brush. Okay. And then I have a big wax brush. And I like to do this. This is my blending brush. And I go back over it. And I'm just adding a little bit of color. I bet we didn't bring a cloth up here, did we? Um, like a rag? Yeah. We have a paper towel. Will that work? Maybe. Yeah, paper towel will work. Sure will. Just have to improvise. So, yeah, yeah. So what I'm doing is just doing a little bit of shading. It's kind of hard to work in your office up here. This is not my studio where I normally paint, so we're really having to do some finagling here, right? Okay. So you got that on, and then you can take a cotton cloth, or you can take a paper towel, whatever you have, and I just like to kind of blend it in. What I'm doing is just creating a little bit of it looks a little dirty, but I want it to mimic like it's actually been touched. Somebody said it's too bright, the light is reflecting, so we'll put it up close, okay. so maybe y'all can see. Yeah, here, let's just slide it in here. Sorry guys, if I was in my studio, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Okay, see if you can see that now. How's that? Is that better? That's better. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So what I did was I took my chip brush, a little bit of black wax, and I go around and kind of shadow the areas that I want. And then I take a bigger wax brush and I go and soften that up. And if you notice the way I'm shadowing, I shadowed to where it looks like when you pull out your piece, a lot of people will grab it here and pull it out, which would make little 
handprints. So it's strategic shadowing is what I like to call that. <laughs> so that's enough for that piece. I really don't want to put any more on there. I just like it like it is, okay? And I'm gonna continue doing that and I'm probably gonna do it around the squares too. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna let Tammy have the show. And she's gonna go back and she's gonna show you how to do some home decor. She's got these cute little spindles and she's gonna paint and show you how you can zhuzh up your farmhouse decor with Dixie Belle. All right, here's Tammy. Okay guys, hi. So I've got this, I think it was either an old bed uh, leg or something, it's something I unearthed um, this week actually from our barn. And so I used this one and just kind of did like a whitewash over it. Um, just to kind of lighten it up a little bit, I used the same color that Donna used on the piece. So it kind of marries the two pieces together. Um, and it is, what did we say it was? This is the buttercream. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of whitewashed it really um, haphazardly. You just kind of um, water down your paint and smear it on. It's, it, there's really not a rhyme or a reason to it. You just keep a adding. Is there, a there really isn't. There's really not a recipe, y'all. It's seriously just a little bit at a time. You don't want to go straight on the piece with um, a lot of paint. So you want it to be a whole lot um, watered down right at first, and you can always add more, if that makes sense. So we whitewashed this piece, and then I used some of the gold and silver gilding wax. Uh, can y'all see that on here? And, and we just left that piece on there. So we just kind of did that with that one. And then we'll use that on this piece that Donna's painting whenever we get finished. Um, let me, I feel like I'm scrunched down. I will be done here just a um, second. Just the disadvantages of, of being tall. <laughs> Okay. And we're both not little girls. No, we, we big girls. We big, girl, we big farmhouse glam girls. <laughs> yep. So, we have too much fun, seriously. Um, so, what I did, I am wanting to add just a little bit of pale pink. Donna's not a pink girl. No. I like pink. Or bows. Um, so, she didn't have any pink. So, we improvised. And we mixed. Um, I used the barn red and don't ask me the recipe um it was a little bit of barn red this has so much pigmentation in it it's awesome Ooh. so you don't need a lot hi tanya like, thanks for joining like three drips yeah very <laughs> little okay and then i used the cotton and then i added a little bit of flamingo to it because i didn't want it to be like a too pink if that makes sense I wanted to have, have a little bit of depth kind of a peachy pinky color and so let me if I can get the lid off show you um, what we came up with I had the lid on there really good okay so this is the color that I came up with now watch me drip all over Donna's stuff we good see I don't know if y'all, can y'all see that okay? It's very pale. I kind of call it like a um, barely blush because it's not super pink. It's just a lit like a hint of pink. So we added quite a bit. Good stuff, great ideas. Thanks, April. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the bottom. And I don't know, um, a little trick that I did before I started painting this, these right here are just plastic beads that I used, um, like you can use caulk or whatever, tack them in there, let them dry, and it'll stay. And or then you it can gives... use Dixie Bell mud. Oh, yeah. Dixie Bell mud. That would work so good. It would. Yeah. So they're just past, like Mardi Gras beads or beads that you can buy, like in the um, flo uh, floral, in the <laughs> fabric section, mm -hmm. just to add a little bit of depth to give it just a little character. Um, and this is what it looks like. See how they're just the cheapo silver beads? Okay, and then you paint it with Dixie Belle paint, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start, like I said, I'm probably gonna get paint all over Donna's stuff, but y'all can see. 
I just want to see. Oh, I need to go on the other side. Go ahead, keep going. How pale this is. And like I said, I didn't want it to be. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see. I'm trying to block, but it's not. Yeah, we got a lot it's, of It's kind of hard to see. That is so pretty, uh, though. A little bit better, a little bit better. It's very, very pale. Uh-huh. Okay, Beautiful so color. I'm going to paint this. And we're just going to do it a solid color. And then we're going to add some bling. Because, um, hello, what are we? Farmhouse, Farmhouse Glam, Glam Girls. girls. <laughs> right. <laughs> we okay. just like saying that. <laughs> so do y'all have any questions? Absolutely love the beach. Hey, tent. Lynn, thanks for sharing. Hey, guys, don't forget to share this video for a chance to win products at the end of this live. We're going to pick somebody randomly, and you're going to get some stuff. Some stuff. Some, some. And you might hit the jackpot. And if you oh hit the gosh. jackpot... How many pro I don't even, wow, Dixie Belle, oh, you better hope nobody gets the oh. jackpot. I'm just saying, you're going to be out a lot. I'm going to hope if so somebody gets the jackpot. So we've got the gilding wax and the paints and the white light. We were using everything And the boss today. and the yeah. wax. Yeah, we were. <laughs> thanks for sharing, Tanya. Thanks, Lisa. What type of brush are you using? This is a Dixie Belle chip brush. And I love it. It's like the mega chip. It's, it's not like a chip brush that you buy. Thick. Like, oh, y'all. It's a good brush. It holds some paint. Yeah, it, it does. It holds some it paint. It does. So, okay. Can y'all see this? Is that going to dry? Yeah, we'll, we'll have to, we'll we'll have have to, get to the heat hit, gun the, out. hit the heat gun. Right. Donald will have to keep you entertained while I'm drawing this. <laughs> Maybe I'll sing to you. Oh. I'll tell you what happened to me today. <gasps> yes. Should I tell? Do you yes. guys want to hear this? Oh my gosh, y'all, it gave me chills. Like, we were high-fiving and hugging. Seriously. <laughs> she was in the bathroom, and I'm screaming. And She's I'm like, like, what? Don't do that to me. I'm <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Listen, guys, if you head on over to, to my website at dodsanddesigns.com, there's a blog post up that I just released today, and it's a piece of furniture that I did in Amethyst. If you don't know what amethyst is, it's the most beautiful purple I've ever seen. I just did it. Well, my inspiration for that piece, of course, was a song as a child in childhood that I loved by Donny Osmond. I know I'm dating myself, but she loves Donny Osmond too, so I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm old too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we should be the farmhouse. Glam, but glam grandmas. I'm but you ain't a grandma, grandma yet. Not yet, but she will be. So anyway, I painted this piece of furniture, and I call it Deep Purple because Donnie and Marie sang the song Deep Purple. Um, well, I posted on Instagram today, and I have this grand idea because I'm going to a concert next month to see Donnie and Marie. I've never seen them before. So I tag him in this piece of furniture. And if you don't know, Donny Osmond has a furniture line. He's a furniture designer now, too. He does a little bit of everything. So I'm sitting and I'm scrolling through my Instagram feed. And all of a sudden, it pops up that Donny Osmond starts following me. I was like, what? True story. True story. I was like story. screaming. So this is my plan, guys. If you go over to Instagram, too, you can go over and like it and, and tag Donny Osmond in it. So maybe he'll pull me on stage when I go to see him. And I'm going to print this photo off of this furniture that I did after his song, Deep Purple. And maybe he'll autograph it and sign it with me and get a picture. I'm super excited. Guys, this is not the craziest thing ever. <laughs> we have fun. We do. We do. We do. Okay. Okay. So let me show you. I'm going to have to dry it just... And maybe you can, can you see the color any the better? We're working in small quarters, y'all, so bear with us. Can you see the color any better? It's very pale, okay? And so I'm just going to dry it. It's going to be a little bit I'm loud, gonna take, so I'm going to let gonna Donna kind of talk to you for a second because y'all don't want to watch paint dry, right? <laughs> Who said on Donny Osmond's purple couch? What? Terry, was that you? No way. Okay, talk to them. No, I'm talking. Y'all keep keep doing. I'm talking. <laughs> Y'all don't want to watch the paint dry, do you? Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. And you can see that my office has been all rolled back. My carpet and everything <laughs> yeah. is everywhere. Yeah, we made this into a studio. So, yeah, don't forget to share, guys, to get a chance to win some Dixie Bell products. Terry, that was you that sat on Donnie's purple couch. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can't even imagine. So 
he evidently needs that purple piece of furniture too, right? That's what I'm thinking. Thanks for sharing, everyone. I appreciate you sharing. You know, when you share, you know, we're asking you to share, and we don't ask you to share just because. There's a reason we ask you to share, and that's so that other women or other people that love to paint and create will get to see this product. And maybe, yes. you know, sometimes a product will change the way you do painting. I know Dick, it has for me. Dixie Bell, uh, using their products, has really changed a whole lot of the way that I paint, the way I design, the way I look at colors. So this is just sharing to get this out so other people um, will get a chance to use the product. Sheila says she loves your leggings. <laughs> they are cute, aren't Thank they? Thank you. They match my core wall. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, guys. You are so sweet. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. We have you. the best people on Dixie Bell. Just, just the best. All these beautiful faces are popping up. Thank you, Megan. Megan says she's moving into her new house and she can't wait to get painting on some furniture. Awesome. Girl, you're going to have so much fun in a new house. There's so many things that you can do. That's going to be nice. That's going to be great. Yeah, they said the pink paint matches your leggings. Yeah. It does. It does, Lynn. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is so cool. So, what's your plans after it's painted pink and it's dry? Okay, so after we paint it, <clears throat> originally I thought I would put a little bit of silver on it, but I don't think I'm gonna. But I am going to um, glam it up a little bit, and I'm gonna attach this little brooch. Be careful, it'll catch that on fire. <laughs> She's using We're my We're gonna gun. attach <laughs> that to it. Yeah, y'all, I'm dangerous. Like, I don't know how y'all are, but I am the messiest crafter, painter, ever and donna yeah, never are. gets never gets a <laughs> drop on her like seriously no you say that and then i'll spill something so <laughs> okay probably not a good thing to do okay set that down not on the floor because it'll melt the cord <laughs> yeah it will it's crazy okay let's see can y'all see that any better i know the light is really bright and when we get it staged and stuff you'll be able to see um so now what i wanted to do, is that glue gun on, Donna? Uh, yes. As I thought, what I would do is, is just add this to... right there, just right to it. I think it is. There you go. So anytime you have a piece of home decor, let's see, hi. <laughs> um, anytime you have a piece of home decor and it's just not the right color, paint it. Don't get rid of it. Um, one of the things that I've, I've done in the past too is um, I had several roosters that were very bright and vibrant. Remember back in the day when um, the real colorful roosters were the thing? Um, let's see if this stays. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay. Well, so I didn't want the vibrant, bright roosters, so I just took paint and painted them. And did it a, a um, creamy that. color. And now they go with everything. So don't get rid of stuff. Just try to paint it first, right? Yes. Absolutely. So what do you think? Isn't that pretty? We I glammed it, it up just a little bit with one simple little piece. Just one little and piece. And where did you get those from? Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby in the um, jewelry making section. So it's not a button. Um, a button obviously would have a... a tip on the end so it'd be a little bit harder you'd really have to pour that um, um, glue hot glue in it for it to stick so it's not a button it's it's in the jewelry making section um, there but you could use a button you could use anything you could use a brooch you could use a pen you could use whatever um, and then the other thing that I want to do is just kind of glam this one up. Remember, this is the one that we did the uh, whitewash with. Mm -hmm. So, I want to add some crystal to the top of it. And Love it's, it. you can, you can glue it in if you want to. This ar already has a hole in it, so I don't have to. You know what I would do? I would not glue it in and then I'd go back and change it out. Yeah. And do something different with it if yes. I wanted to change it out. Yep. Um, you could put anything in there. You could even yeah. put a colored one in there. Do you want to change it with your decor? Yeah. So this one was whitewashed. So it's the natural wood and then we whitewashed it. 
And then this one, we just went ahead and painted a color to add a little bit of pop to the top of that um, already white piece. Right. Okay. So. So what, are you going to do anything else to that? Are you going to put. I was, I was going to put some silver on it, but I really, I really just kind of like the simplicity of it with the bling, if that makes sense at all. I Let's want some silver. <laughs> what do y'all want? Should, what do you guys I, should want? I add a little tell, bit of silver? If we don't her. like it, we can paint over it. Yeah, again. exactly. So With Dixie not... Brown paints, they're all water soluble. So if you don't like it, you just paint over it, right? Don't you love the bling, Lynn? Yes. I, I, yes. I love to bling so up everything. Tell Tammy what color of gilding wax she should use. Should she use the gold or should she use silver? I think she used both. Because you can mix those together, guys, and come up with a color <laughs> all your own. Seriously. Look, I got the phone okay, in my hand. Look at y'all. She is telling on y'all. Yes, yes. <laughs> she is giving you what for. Okay, so silver. Hmm. Donna. Yeah. You're I say go for it. You're uh, you're better at um, no, this kind of thing than you just I am. Slap it on there. It's not like hard. Well, but what if we don't like it? We'll, we'll paint, paint over it. it. <laughs> what did I just tell her? Don't listen. I think it's pretty. Okay. Yeah. My fingers are fat. Here, you want me to do as it? As I said, I'm a big girl. I'll do it. So, that way, if I mess okay. it up, let's here. show you. Turn it over here. Oh. Okay. So, if I mess it up, it's her it's fault. My fault, right? <laughs> she did it. <laughs> well, my We're fingers sideways. are kind of fat, too. I think I'm messing it up. But I think it will be fine. It's just a little. It's not much. It just kind of brings out those beads. A it little almost bit. looks. Oh, this is. It's, it's bright. It's bright light. I bright think light. we had a malfunction. Uh oh. That's okay. Where did it go? It's okay. I don't know. We have more glue. Yeah. Hang on. Malfunction. We need more glue. <laughs> See if it's still hot. This is what you do. There you go. More glue, more glue. All right. I'm just trying to find where we had it. Yeah, there you go. All right. Okay, so can you see the silver on the beads at all? I can. It's hard to tell. We'll, so we'll get a close up for y'all so that you okay. can see it a little bit better. All right. So while Tammy is getting. Yes. Our, okay, we're gonna switch back here. While Tammy is getting her farmhouse glam home decor ready, we're gonna stage this piece. Before we stage this piece, I wanna show you what I sealed this product with. And by the way, you don't have to seal Dixie Belle's paints. You just use them. You don't have to seal it. I like to seal it. It just makes me feel good because I'm old school and I kind of think it needs it. So I used a product called Easy Peasy Wax. This stuff is crazy, guys. It is crazy because it is a spray wax. You actually just spray it over your piece, let it dry for 30 minutes, and you go back and you buff it with a soft cotton cloth. If you feel like it needs another coat, go back and put another coat on, let it dry, do the same thing. It's really cool. It's really easy, simple, because I hate waxing. I am not a wax person, so it's no fun. So, okay, I'm gonna situate the camera over to the furniture piece and we're going to do a little bit of styling and show you how you can use these items of home decor on your furniture and if you're a furniture painter this will help with some staging in your photography so that you can actually make more money selling your furniture and by the way if you're a retailer and you have a shop a booth a store this also helps your display so that you can sell more paint people love a beautiful display so hopefully this helps you and if you're a retailer thank you so much for selling dixie bell and being uh, with Dixie Bell and if you would like to find a retailer near you you can go to Dixie Bell's website and you can type in under the search bar to find a retailer near you we'd love for you to go and take out some paint so hang tight let's adjust the camera okay can you tell me what it looks like um, can you see it maybe raise it up just a little bit and then scoot back some okay how's that you see. I guess I can look That's here. good. Y'all can see, right? Everybody good? Everybody good? Everybody good? Hey, Damon. Hi. Hey, Damon. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I can't get out now. I'm blocked. All right, so tell them what you're doing, Tammy. We're okay. starting first. So, one of the things that we're doing, let me scooch down a little bit. So when you're displaying for a furniture piece that you wanna sell, you display it a little bit different than you do if you're just kind of trying to sell some of your home decor. So we're displaying this, we're staging it, we're styling it as if it's a piece of furniture that we're gonna try to sell. So you don't want a whole lot going on up on top of here. So we're just gonna make it very, um, what would you very say? Very simple. Just basic, simplistic, basic. Right. Groupings um, of three. Of course, I love books, so does Donna. Mm -hmm. I love height. Um, things of, of three, like Donna just mm -hmm. said, in design, odd numbers are always key. So, I know, it, I turned the glue back on. Okay. Anyways, um, so, so you just wanna try to make it minimal but still pretty. You want it to be pleasing to the eye. You want somebody to be scrolling through your feed and you want them to stop. You want them to scroll, 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 stop because they see a picture of something that makes them want to stop. Emotion. Yes, emotion, evoke emotion. So that's what we're gonna try to do, okay? Are y'all ready? Yay, thank you for sharing, Lynn. So helpful. Well, good, Michelle. I'm so glad. Will you uh, okay. let me in on your phone? Because I need to start picking stuff. I need to look at my Because I somehow got out of it. We're trying to um, get to where we can pick a winner. Because y'all are all sharing so good. Y'all are awesome. This is fun. Are y'all having fun? We are. Are you learning anything? I hope so. Okay. So these are just some flowers that um, were actually in Donna's flower beds. And because we're doing the farmhouse, this fit perfectly. We needed it up a little bit higher, so we're adding the books. And then we're gonna use our spindle pieces. That is so pretty. Here. So glammy. And then, where's the, oh, our glue is still drying. I'm letting it dry. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna okay. sneak over here in front of you. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. How does it look on camera? Look how cute. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so here you have a farmhouse style piece that's been painted with Dixie Belle paint in a beautiful creamy color. It's been distressed. Um, it has a little blingy knobs on it. We got those from Hobby Lobby with the little crystals in it. And that kind of plays into the crystal up here, which is kind of a glammy, which plays mm -hmm. with the crystal on top of the other uh, spindle. And then you've got beautiful flowers in a can, like a watering can, because this little piece actually is a washstand. And if you open it up under here, this is where the little bowl was stored underneath. So it's all about styling the piece like it properly should be styled. Like you wouldn't want to put, you know, a rustic country something, you know, right. you know, on something like this. A right. farmhouse glam, you want to kind of make it all look chilled together. So right. it's super cute. You guys love, give me some thumbs and hearts up if you think this is cute. It's really super cute. And I think it needs to stay in my office. <laughs> okay, I can't see So it do y'all have any questions? We're having trouble reading the comments, y'all. Hang tight. We're fit, getting ready to pick a winner for Dixie Belle. So be sure to keep commenting and sharing. That is super cute. I really, really like the way that looks. That's super really cute. cute. And y'all, okay. seriously, this is something that you can use anything that you have in your house, any, um, if it's not the right color, if it's brown, if it's hunter green from 12 years ago, paint it. Try it. If you're going to get rid of it anyways, it doesn't matter, right? So try it. You might actually totally love it in its new form with the new um, color just with some paint. I love that. It really looks nice, Donna. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think it does too. All right, guys, we are ready. 
Um, I'm gonna announce the winner. You wanna stand up and do this? Well, here, let's just We're, pull this down. Too, uh, Sorry, I'm on grandma knees. It's killing me, guys. It's killing me. Okay, now we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for bearing with us. Okay, the winner of tonight's paint or products that we're gonna spend for is Jesse Watkins. Ooh. Jesse okay. Watkins. Congratulations. Yay! Are Everybody give us some hearts and thumbs up. Okay. Vanna is going to spin the wheel. Are you ready? We're a hot mess. Sorry. Ready? It's spinning, it's spinning. Okay, no, okay. Fun. Jesse, we're looking for your prize. We're looking, looking, looking. Maybe it'll be jackpot. Oh, oh you so just missed close. a jackpot. Oh, okay. Jesse, what you're going to win is a container of Slick Stick. Slick Stick is an amazing bonding, gripping product that helps paint over slick surfaces so that your paint will adhere to anything. And I actually painted over some tiles around my fireplace and used oh, Slick Stick and it worked out. It is so perfect. Pretty. Perfect, so perfect, pretty. perfect, perfect. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you so much. And if you will get in touch with Dixie Bell and give them your information, they'll be happy to ship that to you. And we just want to say thank you. And yes. thank you, Tammy, for coming on. It was so and fun. And helping me style the furniture. I love that. And if you love that, give her some hearts up. And you can follow Tammy over on her Facebook page, too, at Rustic Orchard Home. And we'll go back and put that in the comments. And, of course, I'd love for you to follow me over at Dudots and Designs. Absolutely. Yes, and go check me out on Instagram. Both check of her us. out. Check, 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 check her out. <laughs> check out my Donny Osmond piece. Go check that out. That purple piece. I'm telling you, deep purple, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, y'all, it's 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 even prettier in person. Like I can't even. The color. I can't even. The color amethyst. You got to try. Even if you're not a purple lover, I think you'll fall in love with this purple. Yeah. It is that pretty. It's that pretty. pretty. So anyway, thank you for joining us tonight. We are so happy that you're here, and we hope to be back maybe another time and help you so. style some more furniture we'll let them know if you love it okay y'all have a great night bye Talk to you soon. bye